Hello YouTube and welcome to Destination Lego and welcome to my review of the awesome Lego Creator Mini Cooper Mark 7. So I've already done an unboxing of this video and there will be a link down in the description to this video to go and take a look at that there. You'll see an overview of the box and obviously the contents of the box including the instructions etc but this video is purely going to focus on the set so let's start off by taking a quick 360 view of the Mini Cooper Okay, there we go. So let's start off by taking a bit of a close look at some of the detailing on this. So, first of all, at the front here, just to point out the license plate is a sticker, also the mini logo there um, across the front of that bonnet. That is also a sticker. However, if we go around to the side, we can see these lines that go down the side here. These are actually printed bricks, which is pretty cool with the exception of on the end here, which says Mini Cooper, um, that is a sticker. If we go around to the rear of the vehicle, again, we can see sticker license plate and sticky um, Mini Cooper logo there, again, at the rear on that boot. So I'm just gonna try and remove one of these, actually. Yeah, that just comes off, so we can see there. If we take this in, hopefully we can get a closer look at that. There you can see that there is actually a printed brick and you can see the type of brick it is there. Okay, let's pop that back on. Okay, so while we're around on the side here, we have doors that open up and again we can see detailing on the inside by way of obviously the panelling there, that would either be material or leather, obviously based on the specification of the car. Wing mirrors there, looking pretty cool as well. And again, round to the other side, obviously, door opens up on that side too. Okay, round to the front of the vehicle. So the front bonnet opens up there to reveal inside um, the engine detail in there. Hopefully, you can pick that up in there. Um, but some pretty, again, good detail. Let's bring that light in a bit better. Hopefully you can see in there that engine detailing. Um, but a couple of printed round tiles in there as well. Obviously to represent part of that engine again. Okay, so that just simply shuts back down like so. If we go round to the rear of the vehicle, see some of the detailing again here. Obviously we've got the lights and the indicators. And that's going to represent the fog light. Um, back there on the rear right, a uh, little tailpipe, exhaust pipe coming out of the rear there. Hopefully you can see that there. Um, but if we just open up the rear now, this actually does open up itself. So there we can open up that boot there and inside we have the awesome picnic hamper. So we can just simply take that out like so and the blanket, the picnic blanket. Let's put that to one side for a minute. We'll have a look at that in a second. Um, also in here, we took that up there. Um, first of all, we have, sorry, our little bottle there to go with our picnic. Um, we have a little section here where we can lift that up and there we can see the spare wheel um, and tire um, in the back there. So I haven't tried to get this out yet, so I'm doing this live to see how easy or not this is to get out. So the answer to that, it is pretty difficult to get out. Certainly for me, but it does come out, there we go. So there is our spare wheel. Maybe because obviously I'm an adult, I've got bigger fingers, etc. Don't really know, but it's gone back in easy enough. Um, so yeah, that's our boot area there. And again, that just simply closes up like so. So the other thing we can do with this is simply lift off this roof, comes off very, very easily, like so, as easy as that. 
Um, we can see there the antennae or aerial, that's obviously going to be to pick up the radio. So now that we've got that moved, um, gives us a better look inside of the Mini now. Um, we can see the pattern to the material on the seats, both the front and the rear seat. Um, loads of room obviously inside this Mini there, we've got those rear seats. We can see, and obviously the front seat, huge steering wheel, which the Mini's back in um, the day, let's say, certainly when it was the Mark 7, um, did have huge steering wheels, so that again is very accurate um, with regards to representing the original vehicle. Gear lever um, down here, you can see there, and handbrake lever also um, down there, that's the black part there. Um, but again, huge gear stick, um, which is again in line with what the actual Mini looked like. Um, hopefully you can pick up the dashboard area here. Uh, we have a printed tile piece down there, which is going to represent the radio. And we've got a few vents. Um, glove box, which doesn't open. But we can might be able to just make that in there. Yeah, down here is the glove box area. Um, and we have three, three dials. Um, in front of this steering wheel, which you may or may not be able to pick up. Very difficult to obviously see inside there from certain angles. Um, but there are three dials there, which are obviously going to be representing the speedometer, rev counter, and um, probably the fuel gauge, etc., temperature gauge. Um, but really does look cool, really does look good. So, again, if we just open up the doors. So if we look at the seats now, so we have the headrests which can be adjusted up and down like so. But the other thing that this can do is the seats, both seats move forward and that's obviously to give rear access to get to the rear seats um, in the back there. So there we can see those forward, folded forward and again just simply push them back like so to get into the actual drive position. Yeah, so there we go. We got that. actually also just thinking about it, we could almost say that that's the convertible version. Obviously, with the uh, with the roof um, removed. Um, just looking at the front there again, some of that detailing. Well, obviously, the radiator grill, the lights at the front there, and again down at the rear. Um, obviously, being that Mini Cooper um, style. Awesome chunky wheels and tyres. Again, quite chunky. You can see there. Um, and obviously, you know, this can move around quite freely. Okay, so now with the roof back on, let's just push that to the rear there. And now we're going to have a look at the picnic accessories. So first of all, we have this picnic blanket, which is folded at the moment. So folds out into a fairly decent size. So we can place our picnic blanket down on the floor. We have our bottle, which we can see there. Uh, we assume that as a bottle of water with the blue um, underneath. Let me just bring that in to the camera a bit better there. To the light. And there we go. See that bottle there, we're obviously the lid. And place that down on our picnic blanket. We then have our hamper, the handle which folds down. As you can see there, that's obviously to fit in the rear of the Mini, but a very cool old style looking hamper. Um, and again, let's bring that up to the camera a, bit, a little bit better. There we go, so we can see inside, you can just start to see inside there, we've got some pieces of cheese, there's a um, French stick loaf in there and a couple of wine glasses. So let's just get those out. Let's tip those contents there. Again, inside there, very cool looking, um, red detailing inside. So, very basically, obviously, we have the loaf piece, um, cheese slopes, so little one by one cheese slopes are obviously going to be representing the cheese. They are slightly different shades of yellow. And, like I said, we have our two uh, wine glasses there. So, that obviously represents our little picnic, um, which we can see there. Okay, so there we go, that is my review of the Mini Cooper Set 10242 complete. So my opinions on this, well, again, it amazes me what Lego um, and people can do with, obviously, Lego bricks. I think this is a fantastic representation 
um, of the Mini Cooper Mark 7. Really, really it does look awesome, I have to say. I'm very, very impressed with this set. Um, it's obviously for ages 16 plus, um, by way of the build, obviously it will have some great playability in it because of the maneuverability, um, but mainly this is going to be for display, um, particularly for obviously the older A-Foles that are going to remember um, this Mark Mini um, from obviously back in the day. Um, but yeah, I would recommend this car absolutely for A-Foles, uh, for the older teens you're going to enjoy the build as well. Um, obviously less so for obviously the younger kids apart from when it's built you know they may have fun um, playing with it pushing it around but an absolute thumbs up from me um, from an AVOL point of view. So hopefully you have enjoyed this review video if you have done so please give it a big thumbs up let me know what you think of this set and if you're going to be getting it um, and any other comments questions feedback again always welcome down in that comment section. And if you haven't done so already, so please do go ahead and subscribe to my channel, Destination Lego. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers!